Hey guys, how's it going? It's Invicta TV here. It's been a while since I've made a video, but I'm going to go ahead and make you guys a promise right here and right now. I'm going to be posting a gameplay video every day of Destiny 1 uh, with this, probably with this coaching thing that I have going on until Destiny 2 Beta. And then when Destiny 2 Beta comes out, um, I'm not sure if I'll post videos during beta time or just focus on gathering content, but from the, from the time of Destiny 2 Beta until Destiny 2 release, I will post a gameplay video every day once more, preferably focusing on the coaching aspect of things. Now, uh, before we actually start this gameplay right here, I want to point out this is uh, playing stacked, and I'm playing against stacked. We were playing on flawless cards, specifically trying to play against other people who have made it flawless already and are running stacked themselves to throw into that challenge with the, with the mindset of, hey, let's get some practice time in for D2, work as a team. It's really small, but uh, we're doing the things that we can possibly do to hopefully just kill some extra time until destiny 2 am i right um so without further ado let's get into this let's get into this play-by-play -play. wipe them out i am running void walker with blink i was doing it just to test out some things i don't actually prefer blink on my void walkers much anymore but i am running mida with a uh sidearm i started off with shotgun for the first round because once more we're playing stacked we're gonna put out, playing against stacked as well. We're gonna pull out the advantages that we can. You can see that like I just shot a regular sniper at me that wasn't uh, icebreaker or anything like that. So obviously I got the kill down. I wanted to push up on this, make sure they couldn't get a kill. Uh, they did in fact get one uh, as Yitzel's trying to deal with their last guy as he's getting a revive up. That was a very poor situation. Honestly, it came to a point where. Yitzel should have known he wasn't going to get the kill. He missed a sticky nade, or he didn't have one. I think I saw him miss it. Um, he didn't get the damage off in time. What he needed to do was honestly just go for our own revives, and, and that would have been a better play. Uh, if he went for Nerve first, who, who died first, and uh, maybe they could have squeezed it out so easily enough. Unfortunately, uh, I was a little too into that situation. I wasn't expecting him to be sitting up there, uh, of all places. It's not really a... A great place to be uh, because you don't really have a great sight on the door you can get your feet shot etc it's only decent as that like uh, counter to the back area was at where I was at um, so fine I got dropped uh, basically immediately that round was entirely not me I didn't even get to see uh, any of the kills basically but things th this game gets a little heated it's a pretty close game by the end and definitely kills to go around uh, once more, we're playing stacked, so if my teammates do some of the work, that's all fine by me. I did get the guy this time. Uh, shouldn't really c sit in the same exact spot, unless you're ready to back up. Now, I, I, I continue to really challenge there, hoping that I could buy my teammates some time to get in, but unfortunately, I think they got tagged by nades, or they were all weak the whole time, and they couldn't really get in and uh, make that assist. I'm not 100% sure what happened in that situation, but um, I probably in the end should not have challenged as hard as I did. I honestly didn't think he was even really still scoping on me with my teammates so close to him. It was a bit of a too I rushed in too hard perhaps in the play. It was a bit of bit a bit of miscommunication, a bit of uh, lack of teamwork for sure. Now we are gonna play more to stay alive because we're we're around down here. There's no reason to continue playing so recklessly. Um, that's the other thing that's a bit silly with Destiny sometimes you, you run into a Still a little, a few too many easy teams, and then you aren't 100% ready when you run into somebody who is standing the ground quite well. Um, now, obviously, I got that one pick on the second guy there. He didn't even back up or take a counter shot. Maybe didn't have the right primary equipped to make this challenge. Mida is a bit intimidating uh, in its niche situations. Um, obviously, I'm going to back up from that. Get, I don't want to get hit by the nade. I'm going to head glitch as hard as I can with this Mida. That's the best way to play it. There we go. He's not even looking at me. It takes so little time to gun somebody down with Mida. Uh, you just need the right situation. I did get a headshot off that. I got another one there. He's so absolute. Um, it's a really should not have wasted the grenade there. And then he gets naded as he pushes up. That was such a frustrating situation. I got to push him because I think I saw them pull out Sniper. Uh, I almost die in the process. 
Uh, obviously, I threw this axiom bolt. I don't want him to push me too hard. I was weak. Instead, here I, I got my health back. I start pushing in. I saw my buddy was there. They got super. I am going to blow my in, um, to just make sure that they can't throw a smash in because I, I guarantee that's the play he was making right there. He slid in like after and everything. Like uh, I was afraid of a smash or be able or him simply having res shields uh, and being able to kill me because they have res shields and I don't at that time would have been very unfortunate. So I do blow my blow my load on them and uh, put them down. Uh, it, it was better to use in that situation. Holy crap, is that a head glitch specifically for countering exactly where I was coming from? I'm not going to continue to push that, obviously. That'd be so foolish. Uh, yeah, a little bit of a blink fail there. I didn't have another blink to use or didn't think I would need it. Ended up needing it and uh, just fell down. But all right, they are head glitching out here. This is such a tough situation to push. I don't want to stand in one, any one spot for long thanks to... Uh, snipers however i do manage to stay alive long enough i need my buddies to push in i'm calling it out push in push in just to get here i do use a perfect blink to be able to um go from the one rock to the other rock a lot of people even in year one when blink was so godly never got used to how to blink uh, and i mean a lot like a majority of the population i mean like 90% of the population at least did not understand how to perfectly use blink and that was a pretty good jump that um, Definitely worked out in the moment. It, it, I basically stayed behind cover the entire time I just held my my blink until I was more until I basically wasn't Progressing uh, vertically at all. I was, and so it basically blinked me perfectly horizontal and obviously uh, behind me somewhat to um to, to stay behind cover basically that entire time and then I blinked high to just get the damage and uh, actually I went for the melee on the guy that I had weak so that, that worked out very well that one round obviously that round there was not much to speak of it was simply push heavy don't let him get it if we can avoid it and uh, that's what we did they didn't use any supers against us so we had the advantage given our positioning uh, now in case you haven't noticed there you go that's the hammer sound right there Right there was the hammer sound. We didn't hear it. We had the counter supers for it uh, We were just waiting to hear it and then all of a sudden two of our guys get dropped to hammer and then like five seconds after their deaths The hammer finally makes a sound for going off. That was a bit frustrating for sure uh, I don't know what kind of lag glitch that was but Here's hoping that sort of stuff doesn't really happen in destiny 2 I'm trying to play for a pick. I'm crouching to put myself off radar so they think I might be cycling at any given moment. Um, now, it doesn't fully put me off radar, but it does for a period of time. I did try to bait that. I, I was specifically trying to run across. I obviously could have blinked, but I wanted to make sure that when I did blink, I'd make my jump up to the special. There we go. I did get that kill right there. Unfortunately, I can't clutch it out. They had the, the perfect lineup shots right there. I thought they were more in the middle of that. Um, just unfortunate situation that they had the perfect lineup shots. Also, I don't know if they team shot me, but that, I went down pretty fast from like 67% health. But oh well. I'm nearing another super because I used mine so early in the game. Um, their hammer is gone. Uh, they might have about 20% to another. I'm going to go ahead and throw this Axion after I got a tag. There goes our hammer. Uh, he's going around the left side into their spawn. They, ho they throw a tether up on the ramp. Yetzel should be having some... Uh, easy hammer throws on this situation. Unfortunately, he did not. I don't know what happened over there, but oh man, I missed too many shots. That was really bad on my part right there. Uh, but he only was able to get one guy down and then dropped. And then I'm trying to do what I can. Unfortunately, I I just had too little health in that situation. Uh, the best play I could have made, other than this, which I wasn't guaranteed to drop if I pushed in the way I did, if they were distracted well enough uh, off of each other. Unfortunately, they they were a little bit closer up on the positioning that I had hoped they would be. Um, would have been just to, to draw out time, which I don't think I wanted to do because I wanted to try to ensure that they don't get another hammer this game. That'd be the best thing. So now it's 4-4. Four, four. They have a smash, I believe, and we I'm going to be able to get a Nova, and Nervos should have a tether, I believe it is. Um, so we're just playing for picks here. I got him half health. I throw my Axiom Bolt. I hear the chase. It nails the kill. Here we go. I have my Nova already. I'm just going to push in. And I'm going to try to put another one down. End up putting them both down. So in this situation, I had Nova before that first kill. You don't want to Nova the first kill unless you have to, to survive because they're pushing you. 
what you want to do is try to get a pick of your own and then use your Nova to finish off the remaining targets or at least put one of them down. Because if you can do that, if you can guarantee yourself that first kill, um, then you set yourself up to immediately win the rest of the round, assuming you don't whiff. And the reason why I say that is because sometimes when you go in to blow this kind of shutdown super on multiple opponents, um, uh, specifically when the full team is still alive, you put yourself in a situation where if you whiff, or if uh, they push in on you, like one pushes in on you, and you only kill that one, they immediately uh, reverse kill you, and it, it doesn't net you anything. Then it's a 2v2, uh, your super's gone, like, it, it's a bad situation. So I find it way better to try to save your super, save your shutdown super like this, or any kind of super. Uh, roaming supers are better to pop right away often enough, but uh, sp uh, a shutdown super like Nova or Tether or Titan Smash, I find to be so much stronger, um, so much more value, so much more potential to just immediately when you're the round, if you can get a pick first and then use it on the remaining uh, players, even if it's just one, because then it's a 1v3 preferably. Um, and so, yeah, that's what I did. I, I got the kill first. I, I was making sure that that's what we were doing. We pushed around their spawn to uh, counter them at Mohawk. And once we got that kill off the nade, I immediately said, let's do it, let's do it. We put we got two supers, let's push in. Um, that was a hammer down, in fact, too. So they definitely weren't going to get a hammer. The last guy that they still had super the whole game was Smash. Um, and we pushed in, and my Nova just happened to get them both because they were too close to each other. So well played all in all. Um, Definitely a rocky start. Uh, we played a little weak here and there. Uh, this was by no means a perfect game. Uh, obviously, it went four and four. Uh, just played a little over aggressive sometimes. Um, I I can't quite recall if that's because we played easy teams beforehand and we just were a little overzealous. Because um, there are definitely some mistakes that I witnessed myself. And I'm like, dude, come on. And those are sometimes moments where. Like, maybe I'm just trying to get it done fast or whatever. Like, it, it's not the way I play in a tournament situation kind of things, uh, kind of thing. Uh, definitely play a lot more controlled, a lot more, you know, smart, a lot smarter than that. But, oh well. Hopefully you guys found this insightful. Hopefully you guys can take some of these things and bring them into your own game. Whether you learned a, a different tip or had things that you already knew reinforced, something like try to save your shutdown super after you get a pick, stuff like that. Um, just things that might influence your gameplay and hopefully help you guys succeed and make it flawless yourselves or just play General Crucible a little bit, be a little bit better. And hopefully, like I said, I'll be making videos every day, uploading a video every day, I promise. So there'll be a lot of content to come before D2, a lot of content to come once D2 comes, uh, once D D2 hits, uh, even just the beta. And hopefully you guys can hit D2 very strong um, and, and play Crucible better than you have before for many of you. So without further ado, guys, this has been Invicta TV. Please hit that subscribe button and uh, later. If you guys are looking to support my work, please head over to patreon.com slash Invicta TV. You can subscribe for $5 to participate in a monthly giveaway of $50 or more, as well as earn double the chance on trials of Osiris raffles over on my Twitch. Every little bit helps and I appreciate the support.